I came on board in 1993 uh, working for Larry Lickstein. He was uh, kind enough to give me a shot at it and uh, he had an opening and I put in a resume a few months before that and uh, he called me at the bowling center I was working at and I knew exactly what it was for when I heard his name and I, I was ecstatic. I mean that was you know like a dream come true being able to come out and take care of the professionals and I knew I was qualified for it but I was still a little apprehensive at first because I wasn't exactly sure what everything entailed but through the years um, it's been one heck of a ride and but Larry gave me my start um, I worked for him for a few years I actually took about three years off came back in 98 and worked until 2011 and then uh, was offered another job took that didn't like that they called me back in 2013 and I've been here ever since and uh, I'm talking about I mean, how the, and the games obviously changed so many years. I mean, what have you seen as far no as? No doubt about it. I mean, it was all contemporary players before. Um, they've all been great. Um, I mean, these guys are the world's best, and there is no question about it. And whether I'm here or not, they're still going to be the world's best. But there were no two-handers out at that time. Um, now the game has evolved. Um, it's, it's all about power. Um, but Norm Duke and Walter Ray, they can they prove that you can still get by with with uh, knowledge and feel and and finesse uh, but um, the game has evolved and the, the players are still the greatest players I don't think you can really compare eras in my opinion um, the guys that that bowl in today's in today's era uh, if they bowled 30 years ago they wouldn't be playing two-handed they they just wouldn't it, it was just part of the game but uh, the game has evolved so now it's power players and rev the ball up get good ball reps and know what your equipment is and, and go from there but but serving these guys has been a pleasure because they they are without a doubt the world's the world's best they respect what we do uh, we respect what, what they do it's a pretty good mutual agreement uh, which what's a good memory you've had from on the road or at a tour stop or just anywhere? just different stops where um, my first day on the job um, I started at 8 in the morning in Cleveland my very first my very first tournament and practice day is always the busiest day. That's where we'll drill about half of the balls that we drill for the week in one day. And um, we started at eight in the morning. And by the time 6, 6 p.m. came around, I figured I go, we should be about finished. And Chuck Schomer, who was with me, he was, he was uh, the guy that was in charge of the trailer and one of, one of my mentors. Uh, he looked back at me and he goes, you're keeping up pretty good for your first day. He goes, if you keep this pace up, you should be out of here by about 1 a.m. And my thought was, what, are you, are you serious? And so the next day I pulled him aside and found out exactly what the day-to-day -day procedure was and what to expect. And then after that, it was easier to handle. But, but there, there are certain days when you, we get a little fried and, and we're out here drilling 18, 20 hours on a given day. Um, and there's a, there's a few times where I'll look at the players that are just hovering inside the trailer for no reason. And I'll tell them, if you don't have any business on the trailer, please leave us alone so we can get our work done. And, but they, they've gotten to know me over the last 28 years. I've gotten to know them. It's a pretty good mutual respect for each other. And it's, it's all worked out pretty smooth overall. Yeah, I mean, the players have a lot of respect for you. I mean, they, they Thank you. through the years and everything. Thank you. I mean, um, so, I mean, moving forward, I mean, uh, what do you take from this? I mean, and moving the, forward This experience I'll never forget. Um, I mean, I've been bowler all my life. I quit bowling 20 years ago. Um, I was competitive, but I wasn't this good. Uh, what they are, I was uh, maybe I was like a triple A player compared to major league players, and I couldn't quite crack the major league scene, uh, which is fine with me. So I, I took on a different aspect of the sport, more of the technical aspect, um, and bowling balls and whatever, and serving them uh, as far as their drilling needs and and whatever. But I will take this take this away from this is uh, something I'll never forget, and I'll cherish it for the rest of my life, no doubt about it. Okay, anything else like that? It's been a great ride. I, I thank everybody that was that that helped me along this journey, and uh, especially thank thank you to the the PBA in general for keeping me on board and allowing me to to do my craft, and um, just knowing that I've developed hundreds and hundreds of relationships and friendships uh, that will never go away.